hi! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, I hope you guys are doing okay. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I asked a couple of furries in the furry community to submit their reference sheets to me so that I could rate their personas. So today I'm going to be rating their personas. I just want to preface a couple of things before we get started. I'm not here to bully anyone for their personas or their art or anything like that. This is purely for fun. Everyone who submitted their personas knew what I was doing, knew that I was going to be rating their personas. All of the opinions I'm going to be giving are my opinions alone. My opinion is not the say all be all whatever of their persona, of how their persona looks. Every persona is great. Um, what I have to say about it doesn't mean anything really. I'm just making this video because I thought it would be fun. I like looking at people's designs and people's art, so I'm not making this to bully anyone. This is all just pure for fun. With that being said, um, I'm probably gonna butcher the names of a lot of these characters because I'm terrible with names um, and species. It could be hard to tell if they didn't explicitly say it on their reference sheet what kind of animal they are. Um, I'm gonna do my best to guess what they are, but I apologize in advance if I mess up your fursona at all. My animals would want to play right now when I'm trying to record a video. And without further ado, let's get into the first one. So for starters here, um, we have this female bunny fox hybrid. Her name is Treefy. I hope I'm saying that right, Treefy. Um, she's giving forest goddess vibes. Um, she looks like just just a little, like a little forest spirit. That's the vibe I'm getting. I'm loving this, um, this little leaf here, this little leaf design on her back. I love that. I love all of the colors. Um, I feel like these colors go really well together and she definitely gives me tree vibes. So I'm wondering if that's, was the inspiration. She's just, you know, forest tree. That's what I'm assuming. Um, I really love her big ears and her blue eyes. The blue eyes also remind me of like the sky. So I'm thinking that that was definitely the inspiration behind this character. Um, but that being said, she is super, super cute and I love her and I love, I love foxes in general. Foxes are super common in the furry community, but I love foxes. And yeah, so we are going to give Miss Treefy an 8 out of 10. Next up, we have this boy here. Uh, his name is Sprite. I'm assuming it's Sprite like the spirit, not like the soda. Um, <laughs> but overall, I am obsessed with Sprite. I love these colors. I love the pastel with the white. Usually I'm not a fan of like white fur. Um, I'm, I usually lean more towards like the darker end when it comes to like fursonas and everything. I like the ed more edgy looks, but this is like... This is like edgy mixed with pastel, which is my vibe. I love that. Um, <laughs> but this is super, super cute. I'm loving this bone tail here. That's just really unique. And I don't think I've seen that very often. The bone tail and these little horns are adorable. I love everything about this character. I think I want to say he's like a skull dog of some sort. <laughs> and I just noticed that the paw pads here are also the same like rainbow color that they have going on like in their eyes and overall this is just a super like pleasant character to look at like i just love looking at him um i'm gonna give him a nine out of ten and next up we have shadow this is shadow um she looks like i want to say she's a fox she's either a fox or a husky or some fluffy canine <laughs> it can be hard to tell right um but right off the bat, I'm loving this lavender mixed with this blue. I think those colors go really, really well together. And I swear, I just made a pair of fursuit feet paws that are these exact same colors. I mean, it's not 100%, but I don't know if that's why I'm so biased towards this right now. Like, so positively biased towards this right now. Because I literally just made a pair of feet paws that look like that. But either way. They are great. And I don't know what's going on with their eyes, but I love it. <laughs> I'm loving the eyes. I don't know if they're supposed to be like hollow or if they're supposed to be kind of like how the Dutch angel dragon's eyes look, but I don't know, but it's great. I love it. She is adorable. And I'm loving the like 
asymmetrical coloring. The one ear is lavender, the one ear is blue, and it kind of matches, but it's like opposite match, if that makes sense. I'm not sure. And this fluffy tail. Okay, this fluffy tail is great. Um, so overall, I'm going to give Miss Shadow an 8 out of 10. And next up, we have, I think it's Roki. Um, their owner said that she also goes by Roadkill. That's her full name, so we'll call her Roadkill. Um, right off the bat, it is giving me Hell of a Boss vibes. <laughs> I've never actually seen Hell of a Boss, which is weird. I know, a furry that hasn't seen Hell of a Boss, but... I'll get there. I'll get there. Currently, I'm watching Bluey. Um, <laughs> you know, the staples of the furry community. <laughs> anyway, I am not sure what species she is. Um, maybe a raccoon? Or, I don't know, because of the tail? Like, gives me raccoon vibe, but I don't know. I'm not too sure, but I'm loving her outfit. Her outfit is super edgy, and yeah. I'm not sure about the yellow contrasting with the red of her fur. But overall, I still think it's very cute. And I love this art is really good, by the way. The background of this art is really, really cute. <laughs> Whoever did this art did a really, really good job. <laughs> and I just noticed like her eye, ma I think it's like her eye markings. I think that's white there for her. Like, I think her eyebrows are white. I don't know this. I would like to see an actual like I would like to see a ref sheet of this character. I didn't explicitly ask for ref sheets. But I kind of wish I did, because I would like to see the rest of her pattern. But overall, she is really, really cute. And I'm going to give her a 7 out of 10. <laughs> oh boy, this one, there's a lot going on. There's a lot of colors in this one, and I'm not going to lie, it kind of hurts to look at. Not in a bad way, there's just a lot of colors going on and a lot of patterns. Um, so this is Primal. Um, I'm not sure what kind of character they are. I think they might just be a skull dog, but these ears are kind of throwing me off. So I'm not sure. Um, the colors definitely are very, very bright. <laughs> and I love how the colors are like opposites. If you hear my dog, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Kiba. Ugh. Here, you want to be in the video? Hmm. You can be quiet, boy. No? Okay. <laughs> okay. Go play. Anyway, sorry for the dog interruption. Um, <laughs> where were we? Oh yeah, we were talking about Primal. Um, so, I, I'm i loving the white, red, and black. It's the the yellow and the blue. The, the bright blue almost seems out of place for me. Um, and overall, it's it is kind of hard to look at right um but not a bad character maybe if they could tone down the colors a little bit like just in general <laughs> like the colors are fine it's just really bright um so overall i'm going to give primal a six out of ten so next we have noctis i think that's how you say his name um again not a ref sheet but still you can you can see you can see what's going on here um, I believe he's an owl. Uh, he is geared up and I'm loving these, like, these talon covers. Like, I don't know what to call them, but I love, like, these little boots. They're like little gloves that, like, extend his talons, it looks like. And that's super cool to me. He's definitely got to be, like, part of a story or something. I don't know, but he's super cool. I just noticed he has little goggles. <laughs> I love him. And I'm loving the natural colors, especially, like... I love natural colors on fursonas in general. Um, that's definitely my preference over like super bright colors and a lot of colors. I love natural looking fursonas because you don't really see them super, super often, which is fine. But this is really, really unique, I think, I, especially with their outfit that he's wearing. And yeah, he is super like overall, this is a really pleasant, pleasant piece to just look at. <laughs> so I like his hand is doing like this little this little thing like his hand wing I don't know what to call it his little wings his feathers they're going like this like he's beckoning to you I don't know I love him though Noctis is really really good and this art is amazing um so overall we are going to give Noctis a let's give Noctis a 9 out of 10 next up we have it looks like a kangaroo her name is Moonroo um, I get the vibe. <laughs> I've been 
I mentioned earlier that I've been watching Bluey and for some reason she really, really reminds me of Bluey. I don't know if it's because she's blue and a kangaroo, but I'm really, really loving this. <laughs> I love the different designs here, like how she has the spots and then she has these swirls. And I really, really love just her overall design. The ears stand out a bit and I don't think that's a bad thing though. Um, because I mean, kangaroos, you know, usually their like selling point is their tail, but look at her ears. Oh my goodness. I love her. I think she's super cute and she has like hair. <laughs> Not often, I think, I don't see a lot of personas that actually have like hair. It's like usually they have like that, you know, little, little tuft thing, but she actually has hair and I'm okay with this. I think that looks really, really cute. Um, and this art piece is wonderful. It, it just gives me like cozy vibes, cozy nighttime vibes. And I love that. Um, so overall, we're going to give Miss Moonroo a seven out of 10. Okay. So next up we have Mallory, the Fulf. Um, they are super, super cute right off the bat. I love the color. I love the natural colors, but also there's like the splashes of, of color. There's this like wonderful little design on their tummy. And I think that is so, so cute. And it matches their eyes really, really well. Um, also the tip of the tail matches with the tip of the paws. And I think that's just like, that's the perfect amount of color to go with a natural, an overall natural palette. I think it's nice to have that little splash of color cause it's not over, it, it doesn't overdo it, right? So I think that is super, super cute. It's very unique. He says pupils are not black. I just noticed and blue nostrils. That is, that is definitely unique. That's not something I've seen before. <laughs> Just explicitly make their nostrils a different color. Uh, that is so cute. And it also goes with the eyes and the, and the little tum area. That's so cute. I love them. Like <laughs> this character is super, super cute. So yeah, overall, I think I'm going to give, I think you say Mallory, Mallory Malice. I love that. And I love when people give their personas like last names too. I think it just overall fleshes out the character more. <laughs> That's so cute. Um, so overall, I'm going to give Mallory an eight out of 10. So there's not really a whole lot to say about this one, but her name is Lavender. Um, I think she's a, a wolf. I just want to say she's a wolf. Um, this art is super, super cute. I, I love this simple style of art. It kind of reminds me of Animal Crossing in a way. Um, I think she is so cute and just very very simple there's nothing wrong with having like a simple design for your fursona if it works for you it works for you and her eyes uh match with her sweater and i think that's super cute um overall i'm going to give lavender an eight out of ten okay right off the bat um this art is so adorable i love this art so much this art is so cute i just noticed there's like a little hand in the corner <laughs> just like snagging a piece of pizza um but this is kevin i don't know what kind of animal kevin is um he kind of looks like a dog or a fox but he also has a tiny tail so that makes me think like maned wolf maybe um i don't know but his eyes man look at his eyes Wow, this is really, really beautiful art. Um, I know I'm not supposed to be rating the art here. I'm supposed to be rating the character, but I can't get over this art. I think I can smell this pizza right now. Um, but I can't see a whole lot of his pattern because he's wearing clothes. Nothing wrong with that. But I'm loving these like natural ready tones. It's, it's giving me Mars, like the planet. And I think he is so, so cute. And I love this, like not quite gradient separation, but it's not like a harsh line, right? So I'm loving this character a lot. Um, I'm actually going to give Kevin a 10 out of 10. I love this character. He is super, super cute. And the colors go really, really well together. And this art is just amazing. And I can't stop looking at it. It's so nice. And next up we have Honey. I'm assuming he's a dog, um, just based on the little floppy ears. Um, <laughs> I love his face and his, his eyes are so pretty. Um, oh, and his little frog hat. Oh, this is so cute. I love this art. 
Um, he's very simple, kind of like how Lavender was. And I'm here for that. I love the simple fursonas. You gotta love the simple things, right? And it's not a bad thing to have a simple fursona. It's, if it's what fits you, it's what fits you. This is great. He kind of reminds me of Jack from Beastars a little bit. Um, definitely the tone is more t like more muddied, but I, he gives me Jack from Beastars, right? <laughs> but overall, I am going to give Mr. Honey a nine out of 10. Okay, so this is Ezra. Um, I believe he's a dragon of some sort. I think, I could be wrong, but I think he has the same owner as Noctis. I believe they submitted multiple personas, and I believe that this is the same owner as, as Noctis. Um, again, I'm loving the natural tone. It also has like a splash of color, and I love that. I'm loving this tail, like right here. I'm loving that. <laughs> this is super, super cool. I am obsessed with this. I don't even know what to say. Like, this character is so, so good. Not just the art, but the character. It reminds me, um, this is a character that was taken like straight out of a DD and d book. Like, <laughs> he, and he even has a little book. Or is he painting? I think he might actually be painting because that looks like a paintbrush, right? Or a sketchbook? I don't know, but that is really, really cute. Like, he just looks like a genuine guy, right? Like, he is someone that you would trust with your drink. Like, he just looks like a good, like a good guy. And I love him. Overall, I'm going, I'm going to give Ezra a 9 out of 10. Next up, we have Equinox. Um, I'm assuming he is a unicorn of some sort, but he has a super long, like, serpent detail. So I don't know what that's about. <laughs> like, he's glowing, right? He's literally glowing. Like, he kind of reminds me of a unicorn that would, like, be in the sea. Is he like a sea unicorn? Like a seahorse, but a sea unicorn? A seacorn? Is he a seacorn? I don't know, but he's super, super cute. Um... Oh yeah, he's gotta be something aquatic. You can like see the scales here. I don't know, oh look at his hooves. Super, super cute. Um, this art is great. Um, I'm also a sucker for this color. Like this color palette goes so well together. Um, it's like a mix of like the unnatural and like natural colors, but it's mostly like unnatural colors, but I'm okay with it. <laughs> like this is good. Um, Overall, I'm going to give Equinox a 9 out of 10. And next up we have Drex. Um, I'm assuming he's a dragon, but he also has like ram horns and another fin tail. What's going on with the water? Like what's up with the aquatic things that are normally not? <laughs> what are we doing? But these colors go so well together. I'm loving this like neon toxic green with the purple and black. Like that, it just, it pops out so, so well. And he just, Oh, he and he has this great mohawk that I'm loving that has like a little bit of his other colors in it. And he's got little hooves too with that same, you know, couple of streaks in it. And I think that's a really way like that's a really good way to like balance out all the colors. So it's not like the colors are all just kind of thrown onto there. It's like they're it's like painting a cohesive picture, right? Like it's actually really, really good, even though there are so many bright colors. Somehow Drex makes it work. Um, I'm a sucker for purple and neon green, especially when they're paired with black. So this character is like chef's kiss for me, right? Um, I'm going to give Drex a 10 out of 10. Dia, I believe her name is. I believe it's Dia, D-I-A. Could be Dia. Um, I'm not sure what she is. It looks like we got two mouths no eyes we got like a little bat nose um and i don't i think that's the tongue is it a tentacle tongue i really don't know what i'm looking at but i don't hate it and it's like she's got little owl feet i think those are owl feet she got a lot of <laughs> a lot of a lot of beans going on here 
And it's like, there's another mouth on her tail. I'm like, what, what is she? But she's 5'8", so she's tall. <laughs> she's taller than me. But, oh my gosh, if I seen her anywhere in public, ooh, I'm running. <laughs> I don't run, but I'm running if I see her. <laughs> she's so cute, though. Like, she's very, very unique. I'm loving the stripes in her ears. It gives me, like, Beetlejuice vibes. Overall, I'm getting, like, Beetlejuice vibes from her. Um, and I just noticed when you, like, flip her over, essentially, you have this back part that does have a little bit of color that kind of breaks what you see in the front because in the front you don't really see these colors so it's only in the back so that's unique i wonder if that has something to do with her her character like what species she is but yeah so overall i'm going to give miss dia dia i'm going to give her a nine out of ten Next up, we have, I believe his name is Damie or Dami. I think it's Damie. He is just a good fella. Yep, he's just a good fella. He's so cute. They, they have all these jewelries and stickers and they just look like someone that I want to be friends with. <laughs> they look like someone I want to be friends with in real life. And I've been looking at them for a minute now and I just now noticed that they also have an aquatic tail what's going on <laughs> why is everyone have an aquatic tail but like feet um again i don't know what they are like he has an aquatic tail but he also looks like a dog or a bear maybe he's a sea otter i don't know what they are but they're super super cute and i love this art piece so he's just kind of sitting there you know hanging out and i think that's so cute I love this design and it's it's again very very simple with just a little splash of color and I think that's really that really calls to me for some reason but we are going to give Demi a I'm gonna give them a 10 out of 10 next up we have Breeze um, I believe she's a fox of some sort um, I'm getting like demon, I don't know, like demon vibes. I think it's the eyes, but like an elegant demon. Um, there's like another little piece of her down here and she is just so cute. This is really, really pleasant to look at. It's really soft. I just can't get over her eyes and they just go really, really well. It's like another, another thing that I keep saying, like that pop of color with the natural colors. It just goes so well. Um, I don't know what's going on with her booty here, but this is super cute. I'm loving these like drip designs. That's her her markings um, Normally, I'm not a fan of like heavy spots, but I think that this works really really well for her um, And her tail is so fluffy <laughs> um, I Love this design and I'm just I'm going to have to give Breeze a 10 out of 10 and next up we have Mr. Blueberry. Um, Blueberry is adorable. I love this art. And again, I've been watching Bluey too much. Um, blue normally is not my favorite color. I'm normally not a fan of blue, but these colors, like the blue, like a dark blue, a light blue, and a white, they go together so, so well that you, you can't hate it. You cannot hate this design. Like it just, it flows so well, especially with the dark going into the light. I mean, I'm happy it's not a gradient. I'm not a fan of gradient designs, like, but it looks so, so good. And the eyes give it a different, a little bit of a different color, a nice little contrast, if you will, with the cool tones. And then you have like a warm toned eyes. I think that works really, really well for Blueberry. Um, overall, I am going to give him a nine out of 10. So next up, uh, we have Billy. Um, I believe she's a boar. She, <laughs> and she was actually submitted by one of my friends and I love her design. I've always loved her design. Every time my friend posts photos of Billy, I get so happy because I just love Billy <laughs> so, so much. Uh, I'm loving that in her ref sheet there was included like a feral version as well as an anthro version and I think that's really really nice and I'm loving all of this gold like accents on her all of her gold jewelry really fits well with her color pattern um, normally I'm not 
a fan of gradients, but her colors just remind me of a sunset. It kind of reminds me of like an ocean sunset, right? Um, and I just, this character is so cute. She just gives me like diva vibes, like, like no one can touch her vibes, right? <laughs> like, like Miss Mobster vibes. She is, she's untouchable. Like, <laughs> she is just the baddest out there and I am here for it. I support Billy. So with that being said, I'm going to have to give her a 10 out of 10. She is awesome. I love Billy. <laughs> and next up we have Bappy. Um, I don't know what she is, but she is so cute. This whole art piece is like healing my inner child right now. Cause she is just so cute. And she's hug hugging that worm on a string and she's just so cute. I'm loving the rainbows and the pastel and she just looks so happy. Like, how could you hate her? You can't. You literally cannot hate on this character. She is so cute. Um, there's nothing bad to say here. I, I mean, there's a lot of colors going on, but I think that works with her. With overall who she is, I think all of these colors work really, really well. And they're all pastel colors, so they don't hurt to look at, right? So it's really, really nice. And I'm going to have to give Bappy a 10 out of 10. And last but certainly not least, we have Asai. Um, I believe that's how you say it, or it could be pronounced the way that I've pronounced it my entire life was Akai. I don't think that's how it is. Um, but overall, this piece is really, really, really pleasant to look at with this character. It's got a nice blend of the colors with the green and the yellow. And, and there's like a little bit of orange going on. I think it contrasts really, really well. Um, I don't know what kind of character they are. I'm not going to lie. I don't know what's going on behind them. I don't know if this is a tail or it's a bunch of paws. I really don't know what's going on. But I don't hate it. I think it looks really, really cute. And I'm loving this tail, this really long floppy tail here. And it just overall goes really, really well together. Like the white and the green, it just looks super, super nice. And I love, I think these are little horns going on here, right? I think they're so, so cute. When I look at him, I'm getting Digimon. <laughs> and I just think he's super, super cute. Um, I'm gonna have to also give him a 10 out of 10. Okay, so that was everything. That was me rating your fursonas. Um, thank you to everyone who submitted your fursonas, and I'm sorry if you didn't like anything I had to say about them. I tried to be really, really nice and actually make sense when I was talking. That doesn't happen a lot for me. Uh, I jumble over my words a ton, and I don't always know what I'm saying, but just know that I loved each and every one of these fursonas, and I think all of them are super, super unique. If you make a fursona, if you bring a fursona into this world, just know that you are amazing. And to do something that creative like that is really, really awesome. And it isn't easy. And I know it's not easy. So I am proud of you if you have ever made a fursona and, you know, made something that you're proud of. And I want you to always share your fursonas online. Unapologetically share your fursonas. Like, be proud of them. You should be proud of them. As long as you design something that isn't offensive, you're good to go. Like your fursona is great and it deserves all the praise. There's nothing wrong with having bright colors in your fursona. It's just not personally my, my taste. Um, again, like I said at the start of this video, my opinion does not mean anything to the credibility of your fursona. Your fursona is entirely yours. And I loved each and every one of these personas and all of their potential that they had. I just was rating them for fun based on my own personal opinion. But yeah, so don't let my, what I say upset or offend you in any way, shape or form, because it, at the end of the day, it is your persona, not mine. You keep doing what you're going to do. If you are putting out anything that is unique into the world, I will always respect that. And I will never have anything bad to say. So with that being said, if you have any other ideas for things that you wanna see on this channel, I know people have recommended me play Webkins online. I'm only having a couple issues with that right now because I am trying to transfer all of my stuff over from my old account to my new Webkins account and it's just taking a long time. But as soon as that's done, I am going to do that. If there's any other Animal Crossing related stuff, I know I've only done a couple videos on Animal Crossing. 
Um, I just haven't been motivated to play it recently. Um, if there's any other furry things that you want to see, I am willing to do more furry things. Um, yeah, and just let me know what you guys want to see, and I'll try to, I'll try to do it. <laughs> So anyway, thank you to everyone who submitted their fursonas for this video. I really, really appreciate you guys. Um, and if you saw your fursona in this video, please comment down below and claim them. Say, you know, hi, I'm the owner of this person. So we can all say hi and say that your fursona is amazing. <laughs> so yeah, just thank you guys so much for watching and submitting and helping me through this YouTube journey. Um, but yeah, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.